Hello everybody, so today we have something very important. Um, this is for the community, this is for everybody. The fact is that uh, we see the error 4013 a lot on the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. People need the data, it's unbelievable. I'm looking at the community online and everyone's just like, oh, this short, that short, that short. We've come up with a solution uh, to swap over the baseband sometimes and that will boot up the phone because it's shorted, but sometimes that still doesn't work. Here is the solution to grab the data without doing anything. And I'm going to show you this now. Um, me and Rulemo, we were speaking about this. We'll have his link somewhere around here with mine and uh, on Instagram. And yeah, this is a very easy solution that everybody can do. And yeah, it just fixes data recovery, changes the game. So we have a 7 Plus here sent in from... Uh, somewhere in the UK, it says the device has been rehoused but is reading error 4013 on iTunes. I don't even need to touch this motherboard. I had to fix the display just to show it for the video. So what we're going to do is, we're going to click Shift, Update, Control, Update. I don't know, what it, what is it on the... Uh, I think it's Option. Okay, on Mac it's Option, on Windows it's... Um, shift. So we're going to find the IPSW that I just downloaded. I will post a link in the description to download the IPSW. There we go. So we're going to update it. I'm filming this now so you can see what we're doing. Yeah. So what's happening is now the new iOS 12 has allowed the baseband to function I mean allowed the phone to function, update, restore, do whatever it needs to do without recognizing the baseband so you could literally have the baseband off the phone and the phone will still update or restore you can so right now we're updating it so we're going to gain access to this phone by just updating it the IMEI will not be there, the baseband will be dead but we will have access to everything on the phone so we're going to just uh, continue with the update here and we'll get back in, back into the thing. So I, what you can see here is on this link here, you can just download each link for the iOS 12 beta 1 and all you need to do is update the phone to that, no matter what it is. Even if the baseband is shorter, you don't need to even touch the board. You just plug it in and you update it. The iOS 12 beta will bypass any baseband fault and allow the phone to update or restore. Obviously, it's in our favor if you update, and we'll have all the data. So yeah, let's. Uh, I'll come back when it's all done. Is it done? Okay, guys. So what's happened now is the phone has completed the update. So what's going to happen is now the phone will turn on with all the data. Right now the baseband itself is shorted inside. We haven't done anything to the board. I just fixed display on this motherboard so we can get it back because it went to another shop. They tried to do a screen on the housing and they damaged the display area. So what's happened is now we will, as you'll see, we'll just wait for it to happen here. Right now it's saying iTunes could not connect to the iPhone, Mandy's iPhone. And this is because it's locked with the passcode. So now we already know we're in the phone, we're getting that data, we know we are there. See here, press home to recover. Okay. And we need the code. So right now we're at a point where we need the code to get the data, but this is how you do it. All you have to do is update to iOS 12 beta. A solution for everybody to grab their data. Anybody can do this without even touching the board. Thanks for watching and yeah, subscribe. Oh yeah, I forgot. Just uh, check uh, my Instagram and Rulemo's Instagram because Rulemo helped me out with this. Thank you.